do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. JoJo Siwa Most Embarrassing Moments Everyone has embarrassing moments, and whether you like her or not, you have probably heard of JoJo Siwa, a young singer and dancer with a pretty huge YouTube following. Although most of JoJo Siwa's fans are very young, she does have older fans who, quite literally, got to see her grow up over the course of her time on the reality TV show Dance Moms. With fans across the globe, JoJo Siwa puts out a positive message about standing up to bullies and loving yourself. However, due to the nature of her career and being in front of a camera 24-7, there are many embarrassing moments of JoJo Siwa floating around the internet. Get ready, because here are six embarrassing JoJo Siwa moments. Her cringeworthy behavior and personality. Even JoJo Siwa's brand is embarrassing. She presents herself as a weird, hyper, and nice goofball who loves to do pranks, challenges, and lifetime stories. It's weird for a teenager to act so young, however. Her main demographic is kids under 10 years old. Embarrassingly enough, in reality, she's 16 years old and is far more mature than her loud antics may lead you to believe. JoJo Siwa is truly an enigma in the way she presents herself, and most people are confused when they find out her real age. Older fans argue that this is just an act for a camera and part of her character. JoJo Siwa's caffeinated rants and outbursts would be almost impossible to keep up constantly, especially for someone who is on tour all the time. One would imagine that this would be especially annoying to her family, as JoJo Siwa's rants and fast speech can be irritating to some people. Nevertheless, Siwa has doubled down and has told fans and interviewers that her positive, energetic, and hyper performance are not an act for the cameras. It is not embarrassing to act like a child when in reality you are almost 17 years old. Number two, her receding hairline. When I look in the mirror, I know that my hairline makes me who I am. It makes me special. It makes me look like I have a five head, but that's okay because it's just little blonde hairs up here that you can't see. But I just, I love it. It makes me who I am, and it's just, it's my hairline. One of JoJo Siwa's most embarrassing aspects is the ongoing hairline joke that is levied against her. Brand recognition is everything, and JoJo Siwa's team have been able to create some instantly recognizable aspect of JoJo Siwa's style that younger kids can recognize when they see her on YouTube or one of her other products in the store. The most recognizable aspect of JoJo Siwa's brand are the large bow clips that have become a crazed trend with elementary schoolers, her glittery and sugary aesthetic, and her tight, large ponytail. You wouldn't expect her ponytail to be the thing that sets people off, but it is. Fans and haters alike have watched JoJo Siwa grow up, and that means they have also seen her hairline slowly recede until it's at the point which it is today. Some people are born with naturally receding hairlines, but in women, it's rarely something that happens in the middle of someone's life. JoJo Siwa's signature ponytail was the culprit. Twitter users held nothing back, and many videos were made by hair and makeup gurus that critiqued her hair routine. The tight ponytail was found to be the source of her problems. The problems stem from her routine. For one, she aggressively brushes the hair, then adds far too much hairspray, which can be damaging to the hair follicles. The most egregious part of her hair routine is the amount of hair ties that she uses, since Siwa uses up to four hair bands, which is two or three too many. And many hair and makeup gurus are astonished at how aggressive and damaging her hair routine has become. It's no wonder that JoJo Siwa's hairline is extremely damaged and receded. The most negative part of this is the impact it has on her fans. Young girls might watch her hair tutorials and not realize just how dangerous it is. Girls who are too young to realize the damage of too many hair products and too much force can do lasting damage. Guiltily caught lying to fans number three. Even though this wasn't a big deal, it's still a pretty embarrassing moment for Siwa. Last year, JoJo Siwa put up a vlog that had a clickbait title that claimed her father was injured. Within the video, JoJo and her brother describe a story in which they told the audience that their dad was hit by a bus. The two teens said the bus just came at them and that it hit their dad, severely injuring him. They claimed that he was extremely hurt and in the hospital. This convinced fans that JoJo's dad was in serious trouble. This legitimately worried JoJo Siwa's fans, who are extremely young and impressionable, and could not tell that Siwa was lying. Later on in the vlog, Siwa and her brother confessed to the camera that it was all a lie and that they needed something to have for a clickbait title to get views on the video. The whole entire premise of the vlog was false. This led to public backlash and JoJo Siwa later apologized and deleted the vlog and it can't be found right now. JoJo Siwa was willing to lie about one of her loved ones being gravely injured just so she could get some extra clicks on a video from fans that legitimately care about her. This was a publicly humiliating lesson for JoJo Siwa and hopefully she has learned to keep her videos honest. Number four, her clickbait content. Although it's safe to say that JoJo Siwa's content doesn't target adults, some of her video ideas and titles are almost insulting. 
whether it's lazily uploading footage that has already been released as a montage or lying in the title of the video for views. Jojo Siwa, or more accurately, her team in charge of uploading the videos, often takes lazy shortcuts or resorts to lying to gain extra views. With the amount of money brought in by Jojo Siwa's brand, it's embarrassing to see her channel stoop down to the level of clickbait articles. Some titles are clearly false, whether it is pretending her family is injured or she has lost her dog, while others are unnecessarily hyperbolic. Jojo Siwa's content is embarrassingly short, shallow, and ill-advertised. Number 5. The Embarrassing Makeup Controversy This is the most notable embarrassing moment in Jojo Siwa's career, and it wasn't exactly her fault. Jojo Siwa has an extensive line of products that range from makeup to hair products to clothes and backpacks. In 2019, Jojo Siwa and Nickelodeon partnered with retailer Claire's to release a Jojo Siwa makeup kit. It was a heart-shaped container that included lip gloss, eyeshadow, and an assortment of palettes. Jojo Siwa's extremely young fan base ate it up, buying lots of packages. However, it wasn't all that great. Later on, the FDA tested the product and immediately issued a recall for all Jojo Siwa makeup products that were sold by Claire's. The reason? The makeup kits were found to be contaminated with asbestos, which is a dangerous chemical. Asbestos comes off as tiny fibers which, when inhaled, cause irreversible cell damage to certain areas, mainly the lungs. This leads to a buildup of damage and eventually cancer, including mesothelioma, which is almost exclusively caused by asbestos and is extremely dangerous. Although this is not directly her fault, the reason that asbestos may be found in her products are cheap labor used in foreign countries like China. This embarrassing slip-up could potentially lead to young girls being hurt or damaged by the extremely poisonous effects of routine asbestos exposure. There is no doubt that most parents did not see the recall for the makeup kit, as fewer and fewer people watch the news nowadays. Many kids could potentially have asbestos-tainted products that they are putting on their faces daily. Number 6. Her Embarrassingly Bright First Car Now, this is an embarrassing example of a great execution of a terrible idea. Since she recently turned 16 and is extremely wealthy, Jojo Siwa's first car was a sporty BMW. This is fine. If she wants her first car to be a BMW sports car, nobody would think twice about it. It just doesn't matter. However, the insane paint job Siwa willingly chose to put on the vehicle is what riled internet users up in an assortment of vibrant purples, pinks, and neon blues. Her car is almost blinding. Emblazoned across the front of the hood is Jojo Siwa's logo and name in addition to a giant printout of her face. The car is an eyesore and looks like it crawled out of a candy store. Not only is it in poor taste, but it also distracts other vehicles on the road. The car went viral when a picture of it was posted on the website Reddit, with many users openly mocking Siwa's choice in color and design. Many expressed sympathy for the person who had to custom paint the car in that way. While many users on that website were admittedly cruel and too harsh in their judgment of JoJo's car, it's certainly an odd choice that a 16-year-old would choose to drive a pink, purple, and white BMW. What's even more embarrassing is what followed, a pointless back and forth with pop artist Justin Bieber, who replied with a comment under JoJo Siwa's Instagram post, which contained a picture of Siwa's car, saying simply, burn it. While many thought that Bieber was absolutely on point with his impression of JoJo Siwa's car, there were many others that expressed their distaste of Bieber's apparently malicious attack on Siwa. Bieber said he was sorry on Twitter, saying, I have nothing against you. It was the car and the colors I didn't like. I really hope you didn't think it was malicious or mean-spirited. It might be just a car, but very few 16-year-olds would be caught dead in Siwa's neon pink joyride. Well, that concludes our video on six of the most embarrassing moments from JoJo Siwa's career. Let us know which one of these you found to be the most awesome. And if you liked the video, then click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release a new one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.